have you ever hear about scantibrain technology scantibrain yes laser scanning to building information modeling have you heard about it yes or no okay it's okay cool i'm here to tell you a good news soon i will be delivering a course on scantibrain i am preparing the course content now right now i have the overview of my course and what about the elements i will be covering in the course uh, five information i will read out the course content then you will get an idea for sure i will try very hard very hard to not not to give up this and will be covering a course on it stand to them starting from i given preface to myself about this course like uh, this course should have a mix of theory and practical sessions with hands on projects to reinforce the learning it could be structured as a combination of lectures discussions demonstrations and group assignments this course could be aimed at professionals in the aec industry such as architects engineers contractors who want to learn how to use tangible technology effectively each module could consist of lectures hands on exercises case studies and group discussions this course could be delivered in a classroom or online format with practical sessions conducted in laboratory or real life construction site let's first talk about introduction to bim in this course uh, we will be talking about introduction to bim explain what is bim what is its purpose why it is and how it can improve construction projects and its benefits increase collaboration project visualization and applications in other fields too then we'll talk about bim software we'll give introduction to bim softwares and we'll introduce the students to popular bim softwares and their applications including the revit and nerveworks these are very basic and we'll talk about introduction to scan to bim introduction to scan to bim we'll discuss the concept what is scan to bim history of scan to bim the importance of scan to bim in the construction benefits of using it in the construction and how it is different from traditional methods then we'll talk about laser scanning the leader of light detection and training technology and the point cloud data introduction to laser scanning technology laser scanning lidar technology photogrammetry and uh, structural light scanning what is point cloud point cloud data types of laser scanners types of point cloud meters and the replications scanning protocols and accuracy discuss different types of scanning techniques used in construction and also we'll be delving about uh, what are the types of laser scanning technologies available the products the equipment scanners available in the industry we'll compare each and everything then data collection and the processing data collection and processing discuss how to collect and process scan data on site point cloud data classification and segmentation how to bring the site data to the office the design office then cleaning and processing the point cloud data what is registration registration software hardware including registration of scan data how to prepare a scan data for use in building information modeling training of scan data ensuring accuracy and completeness and validation of scan data and we'll talk about creating a bim model from the scan data discuss how to create a bim model from scratch data scan data explain the steps involved in creating a bim model using the processed point cloud data i mean right from file set aligning scan data with the existing bim models or creating a new bim model with the file set up including model creation techniques best practices and software options for creating models from scan data that's from scratch then scan to bim workflow what is this scan to bim workflow and what we'll be doing in this like uh, workflow strategies for scan to bim projects using bim software for scan to bim projects collaboration and uh, data sharing in scan to bim projects integrating scan data into bim workflows discuss how to integrate scan data into bim workflows including how to integrate scan data with the, in the design case also and scheduling the cost estimation etc 
then coming to the BIM collaboration and coordination. The BIM is more about the collaboration and coordination, right? How we are going to do it in the case of scanto BIM projects. Then we will talk about uh, explanation how to use BIM for co collaboration and coordination with each other construction professionals and what are the tools we generally use in the industry. Then quality control and validation. Quality control and validation, we will discuss how to ensure uh, the accuracy of the BIM model and how to analyze the BIM model for accuracy and how to validate it against the point of data including the best practices for quality control and validation and how to identify and fix common issues people do make in the case of modeling or can't be work for etc etc then we'll go and look into some case studies some case studies like a successful scantibim projects emerging trends in scantibim technology what about the future developments in the case of scantibim technologies and case studies really we know right the importance of case studies provides real life examples and in, we will talk about the challenges also and learnings also and people how they overcome it then we will look into legal and ethical considerations like uh, understanding the legal and ethical considerations in scanto BIM projects protecting the confidentiality of the project data managing intellectual property rights in scanto BIM projects ensuring compliance with the industry standards and regulations then future of scan to beam what is what about the future of scan to beam technology like wow we have emerging technologies in scan to beam the impact of scan to beam on the construction industry the future scan to beam technology and its potential solutions then beam for construction management discuss how beam can be used for construction management understand the role of scan to beam in construction project management implementing scan to beam in construction projects, managing and mitigating project risk in scan to beam, monitoring and controlling the scan to beam process including scheduling, task estimating and project management. Then before facility management and we will explain how this data will be able to facility management. Then about sustainable, sustainable is very important concept and we will cover how the beam for sustainable and energy efficiency, beam can be used to evaluate the sustainability and energy efficiency of building. Then, like this, we will prepare more and more content, more modules. We will learn about scanning technology, the workflow, and whatever so far I told. Then, are you getting a clarity about what we are going to cover in the future about scanning? That's great. You can connect with me on social media platforms. I'm more active on the LinkedIn. Thank you.